Hey everyone, Rose here. I am always trying to come up with new and different video ideas. So with BookTube, you have many go-to videos that you can do that are easily accessible for BookTubers. You have hauls and unhauls, you have TBRs, tag videos, monthly wrap-ups, reading vlogs, and so on. I have a Google Doc that has almost three pages worth of just video ideas that are new and what I hope to be different, but very few of those ideas are quick and easy. A lot of them would take me time just to be able to put together. For example, I want to reread, where is it right there? Somewhere over here, <laughs> the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But you know, that would take time. So in my quest to come up with a quick and easy video, I had a spark of inspiration. Two things inspired me to make this video. One is my desire to come up with a quick, easy and different video to do with hopefully the added benefit of sparking creativity in others. And two, uh, having recently watched a movie called The Old Guard on Netflix, there are just so many things to praise about that movie, but I need to stay focused here. <laughs> Allow me to extend and explain the second reasoning. See, watching The Old Guard, it made me think, huh, wouldn't it be interesting to read books inspired by this movie? Now, in this case, when I say books inspired by the movie, I don't mean a literal adaptation of the movie into book form, plus the movie is actually based on a comic, so that's basically already taken care of. <laughs> what I mean is to look for themes, aspects, elements in the movie that spark my interest, and then to search out books that meet that criteria. And here we come to the entire point of this video, and that is how to come up with a themed video based around a specific movie, a TV show, a manga, whatever. Since my example comes from the old guard, uh, let me explain and give some examples of what I mean by all of this. So one of the main characters in the movie is Joe. He is an Arab Muslim man and he is in a committed and deeply loving relationship with another man. Now that right there, there is a lot to choose from. So I could read a nonfiction book on the Islamic religion. I could read translated Arabic poetry. I could read an LGBT book with a queer main couple, with one or both of the couples being POC, and preferably with the story ending happily. <laughs> Moving along to another example. So another aspect I could explore is this movie centers around an immortal found family. Okay, so I a very obvious choice would be to read a story with a found family. The immortals in the old guard, they are warriors. So okay, I could read a story about warriors, warriors from any number of countries from any number of eras. A third example, a third aspect of this movie is one of the characters, one of the main characters is Niall Freeman and she is a black woman who is in the US Marines. Okay, I can go very broad and simply read a book that has a black woman who is the main character. I could be a bit more specific and I can read a book of essays on the experience of black women in the US military. Another thing is Niall, she is immortal and immortals, they can, I feel like they can take on many different forms and one of those can be a goddess. Okay, so I could read a story that centers around a black goddess. Do you all, I hope you all are following what I'm trying to lay out here. <laughs> the possibilities for this kind of themed reading, I think it's just endless. You could read one or 10 books inspired by a movie, a TV show, a piece of literature, manga, anything. At some point, I do want to do a video that is titled something like reading five books inspired by the old guard. Continuing on with this example from this movie, of this movie, of this movie, I got it. I just think that it's amazing of what kind of inspiration can be sparked from reading different stories from any number of medium. After watching this movie and uh, immediately reading a ton of fan fiction for it because duh. <laughs> It has made me just want to have a better understanding of things like the Crusades, the Islamic religion, or perhaps just reading translated Arabic poetry. Again, this the, the possibilities of what I could learn and read from all of this, it's, it's endless. And all of this, it 
coincides really nicely with the fact that I want to read more diversely and just more broadly, you know? So okay, uh, yeah, a quick recap. <laughs> there are just four easy steps to, you know, doing the thing. Step one is to choose a movie, TV show, manga, whatever. Step two is pick out themes, aspects, elements that you want to explore. You can be very... I lost my words. You can be very specific or very broad with this. I got it. <laughs> step three is to choose a book or books. And then step four, read the book or books and profit. <laughs> so just have fun with this. Uh, whether you are a booktube creator or you are a commenter slash reader. I mean, I think all of those are readers, but you get what I mean. The possibilities for videos, I think in particular, is I think just endless? Man, I keep saying that word, but it's whatever. If you follow this tip, which I hope that I explained clearly, maybe, and at the same time, I think if, you know, for all of you readers out there, if you've just been recently struggling with what the heck do I want to read next, well, hopefully this tip will inspire you to read, you know, a different genre and just generally, generally read outside of your comfort zone or just things that you normally read. Yeah. And now before I sign off, I just want to give, you know, five quick reasons why everyone should watch The Old Guard. And there are many more than this, but you know, keeping this on point. Okay. So in no particular order, but Point one, it's a solid story. Again, it's based off a comic and this is the movie adaptation for it. And it is directed by Gina Prince Bithwood, who is a black woman. Number two, a diverse cast. Number three, Charlize Theron is 45 and kicking ass. And just by the way, 45 years old is not old, but you know, in Hollywood, they seem to think that women past a certain age is old, but that's a whole other thing. So moving on, number four, great representation of a queer main couple. And number five, Marwin Kinzari. Like, need I say more? Okay, so that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I really hope that this was understandable and clear and inspiring. Please take care, everyone, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I think I can do this. Getting my energy up. Getting my energy up. This is the crap that I cut out. <laughs> Every time. <sighs> we all have our methods.